as we went into round 17 and 18 at Kailami. Sean van der Linde in pole position and the BMWs looking really good here. And they're waiting for the lights. And let's see who's going to get off the line first. The BMWs are normally very quick off the line, but so are the Audis. And a good start from Sean van Linda, Craig Baird, and they all get off. And you see Aberdeen trying to go through on the inside of uh, Taylor as they come over the start-finish line, down towards Pennzoil for the first time, but it's BMW, one, two, and three. And we've got, uh, oh, there's one, uh, that's Aberdeen, right on the inside, two wheels on the dirt of Taylor as they come down towards Nasher. That was through Pennzoil on the straight now to Nasher, and uh, Taylor not going to give him an inch as they go into Nasher now, but uh, really up front, it's all BMW. First, second, and third, it's Van der Linde, Baird, and then we've got Chubay, and on the outside, here comes uh, Grant McCleary, trying to challenge on the outside, then it's Julian Bailey, Taylor, followed by Aberdeen on the outside, now that is Briggs, Aberdeen and Moss right in there, and it looks like the, it is, the, is that uh, Duncan Foss, I'm not too sure if that is Duncan Foss, or Janelle de Villiers in the BP Nissan, but it's Van der Linde, Craig Baird, Dion Joubert, and this Dion Joubert in third place in the BMW motor plan car, followed very closely by Grant McCleary, who's come on in leaps and bounds this year, and this is one of the Nissans that he's off, one of the Nissans, it's, uh, yes, it could be Janelle de Villiers, it looks like Janelle de Villiers has gone off, Julian Bailey in the Minolta Camry, but takes a tighter line in, and uh, there is Michael Briggs now on the inside, Anthony Taylor is pushing them a little bit, you see them touch as they come out, and is Taylor going to get in first, this is going to be close, that's not where you want to come through together, and we'll pick them up as they come through. It is looks like Taylor's gone through. Then it's Aberdeen on the inside of Briggs. They doesn't make it. Terry Moss is also there. That is the champion, the reigning champion, Michael Briggs. And there's the two Rothmans out. He's riding behind them, but it's still Van Linda. Van der Linda by, followed by Beard, Joubert, McCleary, Bailey, Taylor, Briggs. And he has the two out. He's always Duncan Foss has gone through. Duncan Foss has gone through on both the Audis as they come down. And it looks like it's Moss ahead of Aberdeen. Moss leading Aberdeen through Pennzoil at the end of the first lap. And this is going to be tough racing. The Rothmans out. He's going to have to do something. We know that they are quicker as the race progresses. The tyres don't go off as much as the two-wheel drive cars. And that will bring them closer towards the end. But here we see there is McCleary followed by Bailey. And this is a big dice going on. Duncan Force, that's him in the BP Nissan centre. He's going very well. He's closed right up on the tail of Michael Briggs, who is also riding there with Andy Taylor in the Castrol Toyota Camry. And we've got the first of the Audis, and that is Terry Moss. And we know he's a fighter, he's a fly, and he's going to be trying very hard indeed. The four-wheel drive doesn't use its tyres as much as do the single, uh, the two-wheel drive, like the car in front of us, that is Funnel under the man in picture. He's leading the race, but the uh, I don't think anybody's going to catch Sean here today. He's been so quick in qualifying, he's really got his act together. And qualifying is one thing, because qualifying is a mind game. The race is obviously very different. In qualifying, you've got to be totally perfect. But this is the Class B cars. The Bankfin Toyota uh, Sprinter of Charles Wilkin, they've got this car going so well. And when you look at the championship points, at this stage he's still 21 points behind. The man in front, that's Hein Lodefon, that's the car in, in picture, the built car, the built BMW. But Hein has won nine of the races this year, and Charles only six. But in the last, at Kyle Army, you can see that Charles has won two of the five, uh, of the six, three have been won by Hein Lodefon. But in the last four races, Charles Wilkin has won three of the last four races. And I think that's, that makes the difference. They've got this car going so well, and Charles is now growing in confidence. He's happy with the car, and he's outperforming the BMW. But you can never write off that man, Hein Lodefon. The BMWs come through. Those are our leaders. There's Dion Jubin in third place. Grant McCleary and Julian Bailey certainly closing up. Certainly closing up. There's Anthony Taylor. Michael Briggs and here comes Moss has got through and so is Aberdeen. They've both gone through on the Nissan as the Nissan got off. Looks like the Nissan might have gone wide. He's back on the circuit. Yeah, he went off on the wide, maybe squeezed a little bit as Aberdeen came through on the inside of him. That's not a place where you want to be taken on the inside. And we see Moss going up now and let's see what sort of times they're doing. Julian Bailey, they're all done their quickest 46. Uh, Aberdeen's done a 47.05. Moss also 47.3. So they're not they're not going quicker than the cars in front of them yet. In actual fact, they're falling be they're falling back and they're getting further and further in be behind but let's see towards the end of the race they should be at least comma seven comma eight of a second quicker than the cars we see in picture just on the uh, better tire line but here we go down in the class b battle as they come in towards us and diving through there uh, and was Nico van Rensburg and he's just gone straight off at Gestet in the corner that's one place you don't dive through like that and forget to put brakes on there is Grant McCleary in the Opel Vector really putting a lot of pressure on Dion Jubert as they go up the hill up towards West Bank 
and Julian Bailey doesn't have to be asked a second time. He's taking the invitation and he's starting to close up while these two are fighting up front. Oh, Nick, oh, great bit of driving there from McCleary. I don't think he's made it. He certainly looked at the inside. He tried very hard. He popped through and he's going, oh, and there's two of them off. That is Duncan Force. Duncan Force. Christopher and Blake was the other one involved there. Yes, they, uh, as the Class A cars are passing the Class B cars and Grant McCleary is all over the back of Dion Joubert. And uh, that's brought them in Alta Camry a lot closer. And they've got to watch Julian Bailey because if either of them make half a mistake or while they're fighting each other, they've got to be careful because Julian Bailey's going to pop through. And who knows, he might just take the third position away from both of them. And that is Grant McCleary and how he has improved. Unbelievable. The man has smoothed out so much. He's always been smooth, but he's really, he seems to have just put it all together this year. And he's out driving Michael Briggs by quite a long way. Dion Joubert, Grant McCleary, there's Julian Bailey. But then he has Moss. In six, he's chasing an extra point. He's chasing the Toyota, the Nolte Toyota Camry. They're on their last lap. And then he's Terry Moss for the last time through AA Bowl. And he's really putting on the pressure, is Moss. I don't think he's going to get to Bailey, but he's trying hard. There goes our second, third place man. That is Grant McCleary in fourth. And then it's the Minolta Camry in fifth. And we're waiting now for the leaders. It should be Sean Funnel in any minute. Coming out of Gestetna for the last time. We'll see him coming to picture. There he is. And this is Sean Funnel And Sean Funnel comes. He's going to win this one. He wins it from Craig Baird in another Enviro BMW. BMW's back with a vengeance. One, two, three. Van der Linde, Baird, Schubert. McCleary next up hanging on in there from Bailey and Moss, the top six. Waiting for the lights. About to change. And a great start from Sean. But also Grant got off the line very well and we see the cars coming through no incidents this time but it's Sean Van Linda Grant McCleary followed by Beard and then it's Dion Joubert as it all comes streaming down through Pennzoil for the first time oh there's Briggs and Bailey having an almighty tussle as they came through Pennzoil on this circuit there we see that's Duncan Force Duncan Force going through in the deep in this and followed uh, there's Aberdeen with right on his tail he's got Chanel de Villiers so they've got through the first few corners down towards Goodyear Sweep for the first time. Sean Van Linda in the BMW and Viracar going away, followed by Grant McCleary in the Opal Vectra, and then his the teammate of Van Linda, Craig Baird, the New Zealander, up in third place as the Clark Speed cars come streaming through up to the shelf at West Bank for the first time. Sean Van Linda. Oh, and McCleary's lost the tail. He's locked up, he lost the tail, and Baird's going to come through. That's a great bit of driving. He held on to that nicely. Craig Baird trying to come through the inside, and Grant has just held him out. Good bit of car control there from Grant McCleary. I don't know if he had to patch the dirt or what happened, but he lost the tail, but held on to it magnificently. That's the Opal Vector in second place. But here come the BMWs. Craig Baird, the New Zealander. Dion Jabeur in the motor plan BMW right on his tail as they come out of AA Bowl, and this is going to be tight racing. AA Bowl towards the AA King. Uh, Sean Van Linda certainly opening the gap there, but Grant McCleary holding off Beard. Here comes Beard once again. He goes left and then right, comes from the inside. These two touching, and Beard gets through. That gets down the corner. I don't know if Grant has missed a gear or lost something there because he's down to fourth position because Dion Jabeur got through as well. Well, certainly things are changing. There's the rear-wheel drive BMWs, the front-wheel drive Opel and most of the others, the four-wheel drive uh, Carf Terry Moss. The rear-wheel drive is considered to be easier on the tyres, and this circuit has certainly got very, very slippery indeed. And the big sigh from most of those team managers now is that their cars have more or less got safely around the circuit a few times. They've done two laps, there's 10 laps in all, uh, 12 laps in all to do. Sean van der Linde, well positioned there. The biggest thing they want to do is keep Terry Mossy scoring points all the time. At the moment, he's got two points where he's sitting there now as he comes fastest with uh, just ahead of Anthony Taylor. And then that Class B battle goes on a little bit further behind. And uh, this is looking back, there's Richard Sorensen in the uh, Opel Astra going, and there's lots of action down here in this class. There's Lada car leading, there he is, in the Buick Motors car. Charles Wilkins seems to have uh, vanished somewhere as they come up the hill towards us, and getting closer is Terry Moss on a charge. This is coming up to the end of lap four. We've had... Uh, We've had, uh, this is the coming up to the third of the distance, and here comes another, and Briggs is going for it. He's going in the inside of Anthony Taylor, he's got him, nice piece of driving there. Oh, he puts him onto the sand, or he went onto the sand, and Briggs took his line. So Briggs has moved up a place here now. As they come across the line, his next, uh, his next goal is going to be uh, Julian Bailey. But Linda has just done another quick lap for 145.814, and Mike, let's just see what uh, Kateri did, a 146.3, Moss 146.5. So they're really just holding stations at this stage. Five laps gone onto lap number six. And there going wide there was that Grant McCleary again. So Grant has gone wide coming through Nashia Corner. And that's allowed Terry Moss to get through. And he's now chasing 
off to Dion Jabez. So, uh, team Oscar in two there, Grant going wide. And this uh, now Chris Aberdeen trying to get uh, past Duncan Foss there to chase up to Michael Briggs uh, as you we got smoking on my way. That's Sorensen, that's Sorensen's car. Right, sorry, Richard Sorensen, he was lying down in 18th position. He was fourth in class B, but that's the end of his race. And when we see this Beard Moss duel coming up, remember what happened at Kyla, at Kilani in Cape Town? Beard and Moss had an almighty battle. They really drove magnificently, both of them. They were going around the corners next to each other, side by side. And are we going to see something similar right now? Well, it looks like that could be happening there. Basil has uh, now taken a close, tighter line as they go through West Bank Corner. Was Craig Beard, and here comes Terry Moss. As they come out and can he get up alongside it's now going to be for breaking down there at the AA bowl at uh, Nico van Rensburg out there and it's unreal how these group A cars went flying past him uh, Nico van Rensburg out there in the hill bank car and Terry Moss looking for the way through on the inside as they come out of the AA bowl and now power their way down Grant McCleary closing on Dion Jubert as well and oh nearly losing it there got him, he's got him. Him, he's through. that was the mistake he was waiting for Terry Moss put so much pressure on Beard Beard made a half a mistake lost three car lengths and through came Terry Moss and this is what he wanted this has now changed the whole uh, championship scene for BMW Greg Beard just twitching a little bit I hope he hasn't damaged the car but Terry Moss will pick up six points for this and six points will mean that the difference between himself and Sean Funnelin who's leading the race now will be ten points Correct. if they finish like this when they hit Kilani and I think if they go down there with Moss with 10 points advantage I don't believe that he can lose the championship but anything can happen in my race anything this is our happen. leader this is Sean Van der Linde and is he flying Sean Van der Linde is really doing a great job of work for BMW the Enviro car you see him going around and holding off Terry Moss the gap is 4,66 seconds this is Moss now in the Rothmans Audi and look at the sort of pressure he came right back from 6th place on the grid he's worked his way through and Terry has driven brilliantly in both races here today but what a great trial from the man Craig Baird tried his best so did Dion Chubert to hold him out but they just couldn't do it on the day Grant Pascal, uh, Grant Pateri made two mistakes today and that cost him two positions every time he made a mistake it cost him a position or two and right in tuck behind uh, Dion Chubert that is Grant Pateri then we've got the Monarca Camry of Julian Bailey he's down in sixth place then it is Michael Briggs in the Opel Vectra Chris Aberdeen in the Rothman Zardi which is Joel van Linder going through in the Enviro car he's the man leading the race with his African flag helmet and the next two will be the man who's going to finish second or should finish second, Terry Moss. Yeah, he certainly he looks like he's going to do it. 320 horsepower, they say, is under the bottom of that BF. Most of the others have got about 290, 295. So he's got a lot more horsepower than the others, but he's used it well. He's short, hasn't put a wheel wrong. He's been in front, clear roads. Here he comes. Two wins for the day. Sean van der Linde picks up 18 points for the day. But Terry Moss certainly is just 10 points in the championship. Here he is in second spot. BMW back with a vengeance. Van der Linde, Moss, Joubert, McLeary, the top four, then Bailey and Aberdeen.